Mel from Carol's Crafts. Welcome back. If you've been before, and hi, if this is your first time, this is where I talk about what's been going on in the Whittington household this week. First of all, I've got my rock salt and driftwood from Quiet River candle lit. I did, I have got my citronella lit all day, but that's gone out in the garden because all the gnats and things are coming out now. And I'm going to go and sit outside there once I've done that because it is ten past seven at night here. But I have got this one, and boy, it smells of the sea, and I so wish I was by the sea. But I'm not. I'm in the middle of Wales. But never mind. So now that's lit for anybody that needs prayers, thoughts, positivity. So we've got that lit over there. We are working, excuse my arm. We were working on Gemini still by Mandy Manzano from Diamond Art Club. I've turned it upside down because I have done to, can you see, all the way from the bottom to there so we're just under two thirds I think done something like that so I'll come to the bottom corner here so let me see if I can zoom right in for you that's probably as best of the zoom in I've got my harbour freight I've got my new hat Hatfield designs tray this one's lovely this one you just give it a quick shake and they line up beautiful I have got my lid which I had on earlier because I was did do a bit of diamond painting earlier. I've got my diamond painting pen shop pen creations, I think. Diamond painting pens creations on Facebook pen. And I've got a glass of wine. Rose. Sorry guys. It is ten past seven at night. Oh gosh. And it's hot. And it's muggy. And it's sticky and I'm sweating when places you shouldn't sweat and yeah so the wine came out but it was ice cold it's not so ice cold now but it'll do it will do so I need to find a fan because at the moment this piece of paper is my fan yeah there's no air conditioning for anybody that doesn't know in Wales we don't have such thing as air conditioning only in the big huge supermarkets and shops they have air conditioning but houses don't I suppose the super rich probably do but yeah Joe Bloggs doesn't have a your air conditioning isn't this waving a piece of paper or a piece of card in your face that's your air conditioning so yeah it was 34 in the shade of it earlier that was about i think that was when did i look i think it was about quarter 11 this morning i looked so yeah a little bit sticky gooey and of course being welsh it usually rain and cold in wales so when we do get it hot we don't all feel it so i've got the hair up in a ponytail then i was still too hot so i put it up in a bun type thing now get it off my bag I've got my uh, three-quarter pajama bottoms on because they're the coolest thing to put on and the t-shirt but I'm still yeah sweating Josh has just come home he's been out for a few hours he says it's still too hot muggy out there mum I'm going to come home we're all going home for something to eat a cool down and then they're all going to meet back up later apparently I said fine so he's gone off with, because we did a bit of barbecue food, just beef burgers and sausages and I made homemade coleslaw and um, fried onions, some buns and we had that and it was lovely so he's just got that. So he just put it under, uh, just storing it away actually when he came home so I said we've only just finished so it was still warm. So uh, he was happy so he's gone off that, did him an ice coke pint of ice coke so he's taken that upstairs and he's got a fan up in his room you know one of these electrical little desktop fan things so I said because he's in the little tiny box room it's only probably three foot no I've what was it four five five foot by seven or eight foot it's only this little box room really just about get a single bed in there and grant's built in a little unit to put his telly and stuff in on the one wall and then he's got a little chest to draw thing on the other 
but that's it and you've got probably about that much walkway between the bed and the unit you know you have to walk in sideways so it does get very hot in there so he's got the fan so that's only fair so we need to we really need we need to, we have got another one somewhere so i need to dig it out so millie can have it because millie's going into jesse's room because usually millie goes into joshua's room and joshua's in uni and then she goes back into Jesse's room or sleeps downstairs or wherever when he's back. Depends if they're speaking or not. But Jesse's away for a week. She's been invited by her best friend's family to go to Devon for a week in a caravan. So she was gone today. So Millie's bag's in her bed for a week. So she said she'll have the bedroom for a week, which will be nice for her. So she's going to be in there for a whole week so she'll have wi-fi and stuff and be able to leave her stuff on the side as long as she clears it all away by the time her sister comes back that'll be fine so i hope jesse will have a nice time my friend texted me to say they would got there safely because her best friend that she's gone with his mum is one of my good friends as well, so yeah, so yeah, very grateful because we're not, we don't think we're going to be able to go anywhere this year again. I think this is the sixth or seventh year, but it don't matter. We said we might try and get away just for a couple of days, but everywhere's booked up or it's that expensive because it's uh, holidays, which puts it out of our price range. So I don't know what we're going to do. So these are really easy. How much can you see? Oh, you can see me putting them into that. See, really easy. Stop. Put it back in. And I'll have to go for the next colour. Which, what colour are we going to go for, guys? Oh, hang on. That'll be my dad. What? What's the bet in? Have a bet now. Did you guess right? Did you? Yes, it was my dad. <laughs> Oh, bless him. He's been off riding um, the, he goes trotting, you know, where there's a horse in front and like a little carriage thing, two wheel carriage, and they race each other called trotting and he loves it. Absolutely loves it. Well, the first one after 18 months, two years started last week. So it was the second one today. So him and a couple of friends from the village, they packed a picnic and some drink. They all jumped in the one car. And went, so he's just got back now, so he says he's just had a shower, he's going to have some strawberries and ice cream, and then he's going up to another friend's place to play cards. So they're all going to meet back up then at this one person's place, a farm, and they're all going to play cards, probably in the garden, and chill out for a few hours. So I said that would keep him occupied and out of mischief. I think he looks forward to the weekends now. So he said, now the horse racing's on. That's what he's missed, is not being able to go places since mum's been in the home. So he sounded a lot more cheerful tonight on the phone, which is good. That's my son. You know, I said he'd just come in for something to eat. Well, he's been home probably three quarters of an hour. He's gone back out again now. Gets restless and I think it's his too hot in his room to stick. He doesn't bring his plates down now. No, don't be daft. Comes down the stairs empty-handed. I bet there's two or three plates in his room. Mugs will be up there. Glasses will be up there. Yeah. Mind you, saying that when Millie was in that room, she started to get into that bit of the habit. And I said, oi, come on now. I tell your brother the same. Even if you grab one thing when you come down the stairs, bring it down. I said, I don't like going in there when it's mouldy. Or you bring it down because it's growing stuff out of it and you can't stick it anymore. I said, and then you bring it down for me to bloody clean. Is anybody else teenage boy like that? Yeah, he dumped his wash and he's been home, what, over a week? Not yesterday, day before. No, yesterday morning. So in the night, his 
um, two loads of washing appeared on the washing basket that were wet well damp wet you know that wet when something's been wet for a while in a bag it has that smell yep so I said what the hell is this and he said well I washed my stuff and I didn't have enough money to dry it so I was trying to dry a bit on on the back of chairs and stuff but they weren't drying so I just shoved them in the bag in the end I said why the hell didn't you give me these a week ago so I had to wash some of them twice to get the smell out I said I asked you last week where's your washing oh yeah I know but I was busy you know he's busy sleeping till about half past 12 he's up till like four or five o'clock in the morning watching I don't know what you just said he's been watching um sorry that's my you put the volume down on it oh everything's going off now isn't it <sighs> don't hear off nobody all day and it's like everybody knows the minute caroline starts filming let's let's annoy her yeah, he's been watching Extreme Couponing, which we don't get over here. We don't get coupons off and stuff like that. Well, I tell a lie, you might get the odd 10p off something or 50p off something so random that you ain't going to be buying it. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, it just doesn't happen over here. And he said, I couldn't believe it, Mum. He said, this one bloke, he said, oh, yeah, he spent £2,000 paid with all these coupons and they ended up owing him he said i was i was that that wouldn't happen in britain i said no it bloody wouldn't happen in britain no way on earth would it happen i said you'd be lucky if you'd find a pound in coupons and then they'd restrict you how many coupons you're allowed to use so i said no nope. would be nice if it happened and we could really really do with the couponing system you know, there's no, none of this. Very, very occasionally you might get a 10% off a shop. If you're lucky or, you know. If you get 20% off something, it's all the stuff that doesn't sell. It won't be off um, products that, that sell well. It's always the stuff that they've got left over and they can't get rid of. And then they'll give you 20% off just to get rid of it. Yeah, Britain's very cunning that way. But yeah, I said, I know, Josh. He said, oh, I could do with that at uni. I said, I know. But I said, you can dream on, because I said, it don't happen in this country. I said, it just doesn't happen. I mean, you can get some coupons, I know, but you've got to know where to look, where to find them. And then it's pop noodle town like ours. We ain't going to get stuff like that. I think the only thing I get is my Tesco's points. Every time you shop, you get a point. I think for every £20 you, sh you shop, you get one point or something. So then I save up all my points. And by Christmas, I might get 70 quid off my Christmas shop. And that's about the only thing. And that's with buying fuel through them as well isn't very good it used to be really good to a couple of years ago it used to be penny for a uh, penny for a penny ever no was it no i tell a lie for every for every 20 quid is 10 points i think i think that's it, it used to be a pound a point now it's two pound a point so that's it i've got it right then yeah so you've got to spend one hell of a lot of money there. When you work out how much money you've had to spend there to get the 70 quid, it was like, oh my bloody God. But on fuel, we use try and get fuel there now as well. And then that 70 pound buys like all the, the treats for Christmas. You know, the sweets, crisps, the turkey, and maybe the ham. So that bit does come in handy. Oh God, guys! Send, send, send me, send me your air conditioner. <laughs> oh, I could do with one of those men, you know, that do the fans for you. Just pull that piece of and oh, the fan in you. Oh, I really could do with that. 
and having hot flushes as well on top hot flush if you don't know is when you're going through the menopause and you burn from the inside out you don't get hot on the outside it's from the inside out and it's horrible it makes you feel claustrophobic you want to get out of the place sometimes i even get into a panic with it because it's so bad it puts me into panic mode Grant knows when I'm having one because he says you just go the an almighty red colour, sweat start pouring and you, can, you just take off to anywhere that you can find cool even if it's putting your head in the freezer. Yes, I have done that. Don't tell me people that have the HR um, menopause and aren't on HRT haven't done that. They won't give me HRT, so. But hey ho. I'm going to try again when I go, go and see him next again and see if they'll give in. Oh, there's a couple more sharps there. You didn't tell me I'd miss some, did you? So I'm going to see, yeah. I'm going to see if she'll give in and give me just a few, just to see if it'll help. Oh, I thought I was going to hiccup then. I've been hiccuping all day. Yeah, uh, Millie and a job. Yeah, she's had to give it up, bless her. She's having, she's had so many meltdowns. She was doing extremely well though, extremely well. The boss, the boss there, and the girl that's above Millie, um, the manager were really, really pleased with her. It's really high, but she gets um so worried about everything that she's doing everything right, and then if something goes slightly wrong or you know she drops something or anything or if the noise in the washroom becomes really noisy or there's a lot of people in and the noise gets to a certain level she can't cope and she's had a few breakdowns there and they've been excellent with her to be fair you know i couldn't couldn't can't well i can't fault them but yeah she had a major major one begin monday um the noise levels there were horrendous um and then she got herself out of the room and then one of the ladies in the cook went to put a tray down and millie was in the way because she'd come out the one room to go in another room and this lady had burnt her hand only mildly you know you know when you just catch it and you go oh flipping neck and of course that devastated millie and they said oh don't be daft don't be daft you know, just one of those things. Of course, she keeps playing it over and over in her head. The noise of the washroom, people out there, people are looking at her and she's not doing things right. And no, she was just, the meltdown was just, she wasn't sleeping at night. And so by Thursday, she was just meltdown after meltdown after meltdown. So me and her dad sat her in the garden and said, right, that's it. Enough's enough. So she said, yeah i don't want to do it anymore we said that's fine you don't have to you're only 16 you know you've got college work i think that was another thing that she was stressing that she's not going to be able to do the college work if she's working and so we said go in on the friday morning tell them say you'll work that day so you don't leave them short and of course they were absolutely brilliant with that absolutely they said they told the, boss, the main boss wasn't there but her manager was and she was brilliant and they made Millie stay and have Millie finishes at half two and usually takes her lunch with her but they made her stay and the manager went and sat with her with one of the other ladies that Millie gets on with and they all sat and had some dinner with Millie and uh, they said you know if they have any they have social evenings and things together that she would be invited and then Millie um text her boss and said last night and said thank you ever so much for everything you've done and the patience you've shown with me you know I've learned such a lot being with you and her boss said Millie we're missing you like crazy we loved having you she said if we have any events she said there's probably going to be one in a few weeks she said I'll get so and so to let you know and you must come she said because you're still part of the team she said, which I thought was lovely. So Millie says, what happens if I'll never be able to work and I can't cope? I said, you will. 
I said we'll get strategies in place by then I said but you've just got a lot going on at the moment you know I said your first job I said you've never done anything like this before you didn't know quite what to, to expect it so there's, it was a very busy kitchen and place you know because the weather's been extra nice so even more people have been going up there and I said you know now they're using the lake as um, with boats and things and kayaks and pedal boats and stuff I said it's getting even more busier but yeah so I was very proud of her very very proud of her but you could see the relief on her face when she came out yesterday from it knowing that she hasn't got to go back so I said you might in a year or so decide that you want to to work again you know and you'll know what to expect as well so yeah oh look we missed a doodah there as well let me just put that in put that black one in by there thank you a buzzy fly do you suffer in America and other countries of flies? Oh, they're horrible. Dirty, 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 dirty things. I hate them. I hate them. I'd cope better if they didn't buzz by my ear. So I said that to you before, haven't I? But the fact that they buzz by my ear drives me insane. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I turn this. Because I turn my canvas, so I turn this the way that I've got my canvas. So my canvas, this is the bottom, that's the bottom, that's the top, and these are the sides. So I turn this the way the canvas is, so I know that the symbol that's pointing that is this one. Because sometimes if you, I got, got myself into the habit of that, because sometimes when you've got symbols the same, it's easy to mess up. So I always do that now, just like a double check to make sure that I am using the right symbol in the right place because there's nothing worse when you know you've got to pick off all blinking drills because you've put them in the wrong place I did that on mum's penguin at Christmas and I was doing it and I was thinking something's not right here and I think I was putting blue on where white should have been or something and because you're so up close doing it I couldn't really see the picture because it wasn't you know the biggest of pictures and then when I stood up, I was like, oh my goodness me, that, yeah, that's definitely not the right colour, that's why it looks odd. So I had to pick off something like 200 drills. Yeah. That's when your, your tweezers come in handy. And they did flick everywhere as well. I found drills everywhere for days. <laughs> but yeah. So it's worth double checking. So you don't have to do things for that like that. Well, we went to the Elam Valley today because it was so hot. We couldn't decide whether to go to Hereford shopping. And I thought the thought we'll trade around shops and we didn't really need that much. Nope. So then we thought, well, should we go to the seaside? And we thought we can't go early because Jesse, we would wait for Jesse to go. Well, about quarter to nine they were going, half a state to nine, so um so we thought by the time we get ready and go and got everything sorted it would be half past 10 11 before we got there which would mean most of the parking spaces would be taken by then because it's school holidays so started so we thought no it's gonna end it's gonna be really heaving and if we take the dog it's gonna be so hot you know she won't be able to walk around because the concrete would be too hot on her poor paws um so i said why don't we go up the Elam valley and go and sit by the river because it's a part of the river that we absolutely love and the dog will go in paddling there she won't go in in but she will go paddling so Millie said oh yeah so i said we'll take the the mag big magnet that we've got and some rope and we'll try magnet fishing and if you don't want to know what magnet fishing is you should get a big magnet ours is probably about that big and you tie a string to it and you chuck it in the water and anything iron will stick to it and you bring it out and you know it's just a bit of fun really well we knew this magnet wasn't strong strong but we thought we could have a bit of fun with it which we did well 
Millie and Grant did. I just sat on the bank and watched. Um, Millie found a big file. She thought it was a knife to begin with, but it's not. It's a file uh, for sharpening metal. Uh, metal file and she found she did find on the riverbank though massive blinking it was about that thick and it must probably have been about two foot long and it was a, a nail but it was an old nail because the head of it was completely square and it was that rusty I don't know what the hell that would have been used for but it was huge and I couldn't pick it up it was the weight on it was immense but she found that on the other side of the riverbank because she went walking. Have a look on the other side of the riverbank. So she brought that back. She found a jawbone that she could just see. Not with the magnet, but she found that. And then with the magnet, she found like a bra big bracket. Probably about a foot long bracket thing. But on my Patreon, I filmed all this. So they've got video um, footage of, of them doing a bit of magnet fishing and what what they found well Millie found Grant just stood in the river watching so if you don't know what Patreon is that is where people support the channel um there's monthly tiers and you choose whichever you tier you want and what you'd like exclusive um content to and depending what it is is how much of the content so you get free videos of what's going on um my home life when we go out and do explore stuff i show that when i'm doing something stuff with my etsy shop i show that i might tell you what i'm buying um give you previews to what videos are coming up and insights like that if i want you know help on what i should do and stuff like that so that's all on my patreon but yeah, so they got filmed for that. So I'm going to keep that film anyway to show Jess when she gets back. Because I think she'll like it. So then I said to Grant, we could do with a, a stronger magnet. So, <laughs> so you put in um, fishing magnets. Or magnets for fishing or whatever. I don't know. We put something like that. And the one he's got, wait for it. It could lift if you wanted it to. 164. Five kilograms I think it was yeah now I'm a big girl Millie isn't but I am but it would lift me and Millie that's how strong the magnet is so it should pull out anything in the water that is made of iron so that's coming Monday so I think next weekend if not one evening next week we might go magnet fishing again and I might even have a go at it because it did look fun. I've got to admit, you need some shoes on though because it's, it's so stony, isn't it? River water. So I said they need to because there's only me with flip flops. The others have come in their trainers, so of course they had to go in and barefoot. So Millie has got a pair of sliders now, but I said they're not really. So you need something like jellyfish or something like that. I said you know, so you can go in. Yeah, it was good. And we took a picnic while well, I went to Tesco's and got some pickies and some drink and stuff. And I bought a big bottle of water for the dog. Even though she drank most of the river water, which won't hurt her because it comes from the big reservoir, which is, is, is um, treated. So because it's just at the bottom of the dam. But she went in, a ball threw a ball and she knocked it in the water. So she went in, went in the water after it. Millie was already in there in Grant. But would she get it out? No. So they had to go out. But she did follow Millie in and she did go up past her past her tummy. So she was walking round. So that's the deepest she's ever been. So I'm hoping she's starting to get used to it a bit more. And especially because Millie and Grant were out in the river. She followed them out. And it was so nice. And she was loving it. I was throwing the ball for her when she was out on the river bank, and so oh, it was just a lovely, lovely couple of hours. We were only out for about three hours, and then it got really, really hot. Although we, I was lay under a nice big oak tree, which was quite cool. But if you got in the sun, it was hot. So he said, "Right, about I think it's about three, which is hot." He said, "Right, it's time to half oh, two, three. It's time to go now." 
but yeah it was a nice couple of hours out and I said to Grant I said I, I enjoyed that more do you know what I mean and it wasn't far from home so we were tired and wanted to come home we didn't have long to get home if you know what I mean so Grant came home then he changed the oil filter air filter oil filter and the oil on his car and bless him he was sweating cobs oh god he's sweating he was going to do Joshua's, but Joshua's in and out, so I think he's going to do it tomorrow morning for him, because I said enough's enough doing one. Because it does save a lot of money if you can do your own, change your own oil and filters and stuff like that. Oh my. Oh boy. So, yeah, he did that, and I was outside wiggling a spoon or something, I think. So he's, no, he isn't. He's just made a chopping board with a nice funny shaped handle with a slot in it and I think he's going to burn the handle with a blowtorch he's done one similar before and it was lovely so and I think it sold the first time he took it out so but this one's going to be is a little bit bigger made out of oak I think so he's out there and he's working with a blowtorch so he's happy if there's anything to do with a flame he's happy out there so he's out there doing that Um, and then I've been well watched the final episode of Loki. Um, what an ending! What an I won't tell you the ending in case you still got to watch it, but I will give you one spoiler: there is the season two. Millie said, "No, they, before we watch, it, she said, don't get excited because there's not going to be a season two." And I said, "Oh, flipping heck!" And then it ended. I said, "They're ending it like that." I said, you're having a flipping laugh, have you? And then after the credits, I said, wait till season two. Don't worry, there's a season two or something like that. But I do like Loki. And I did feel for him at the end. Yeah, I did. I did really feel for him at the end. And then I did watch the last two nights because it's been so hot and I haven't been into my crafting again this week. I am so sorry, guys. I've just made my stuff for my Etsy, a couple of things for my Etsy store and because it's so hot that took me a lot of energy with my illness or my illness condition whatever you want to call it. Doing stuff takes a long time anyway but when you're hot and sweaty it takes even longer. So I concentrate into making a few things for the Etsy shop. I've got some new fabrics in. Oh, I can't wait to use them. <laughs> ah. Can't wait to use them. They're fab. They are. Um, so in the evenings, I just can't. I just can't sit and I can't concentrate on anything. My concentration's gone. So um, Millie said, "Well, you used to like watching accident A and E, which is accident accident and emergency in see twenty four twenty four hours in A and E." And I did love that. And I haven't watched the last couple of um, series. So she said, I'll see, I'll get it up on my PlayStation and you can start was watching the last series and then you can go backwards because it doesn't matter, does it? What order you watch them in, that type of thing. So I said, yeah, so the last two nights I watched an hour's episode of 24 Hours in A&E because it fascinates me. I like the, not the thing that people are being heard, but their stories the stories that they tell about their lives and where they met their wife or husband and what jobs they had and I just find it fascinating listening about people you know and how they came to met and you know and then they tell you how they were after you know how they recovered or not recovered or you know so you get the whole history of it all so I have been enjoying that so I might watch one more t later on tonight I find it switches my mind off as well, that does. And Grant, and Grant doesn't mind that being on either. Because me and him watch totally different types of telly. He likes horror movies and stuff like that, whereas I don't, you know. We do clash on a lot of the things that he likes or I like, so. But yeah. About the only things that I have watched, I say I watched Loki because of Millie, she wanted to watch it with me, and I've watched a couple of episodes of the 
24 hours in May and E. So after this, I will get this video rendering and then when it's rendered, get it to upload and then do all the gump for it. But in between, I think I'll be sitting in the garden for maybe an hour, well, as long as there's not too many bugs and the, um, the citronella candle, because I've got it on the table where I, I'm going to be sitting there. So hopefully it's doing its job and it's keeping them all, all up there. Ooh, oh, look at that. There's the puppy. That could have been a lot worse, couldn't it? That could have been a lot worse, Cal. And I missed a couple of K's there. <clears throat> you always find you miss a couple. And I never know, there's only usually one or two T's anywhere. Just one here and one there and that's it. So I don't know why that is. So we'll put them in get that in and then that's done and then we shall go because it's too hot so there's one oh there's three there look one two so let me know down in the comments what you've been up to this week and what you're going to be up to next week are you finding, have you still got your crafty mojo are they? Do you ever lose it? Did it come back? You know, are you having a glass of wine with me? <laughs> or is it a bit early? Or is it ever too early? Mm. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Oh. No, I'm not. I'm just going to give me another second because there's another tea there. I only said there's one or two usually and there's quite more than that. Right. <laughs> I'm going to love you and leave you all. Please look after yourselves. Thank you ever so much for stopping by and spending a little bit of your day with me. I really, really do appreciate it. And I love hearing your comments. It makes my day. I wake up in the morning and I've seen a comment. I'm, I'm so excited. So leave a comment down below, I always answer, or leave a comment on my Facebook or Instagram or whatever you fancy. All my details are down below that you need to know about me. If you haven't subscribed, you might fancy staying around, or if you want to know when I upload a video or when I go live, which is on a Sunday, when we do have a, a giggle, um, there's a little bell by the side and that'll let you know. So with that said, look after yourselves, take care, most importantly, stay safe guys. Love you, bye. Thank you.